All right, we are here at my Vermi Hut indoor warm bin, and we're gonna do things a little different this time. This is the third tray and we are done feeding. This tray, we're going to put a new tray on and instead of um, feeding it and doing a video, cause I've done several videos on how to do that, I'm going to just kind of dig around, aerate in here, and then we will just put on the, the next tray, which I've already put cardboard, shredded cardboard, and that kind of thing in. It's been 12 days since these guys were fed, so a lot longer than I usually go typically. Typically, I like to go only about a week, but not too bad. We're just going to dig around in here and this will be it. This is 95 days that this bin has been going and it's doing great. I mean, a lot different than than previous bins where I um, wait till they get to almost all castings. This clearly has paper and, and uneaten parts and a lot, of, a lot of happy little squirmers there. But, um, but yeah, so we'll just, we'll see how this does. Partway through the bin, I was a little nervous that they had eaten everything almost down to castings and it wasn't as high as I wanted. So I put a lot of bedding in and that bedding is still in here. But again, I can, I can feel some more of the paper, cardboard, toilet paper things. But I think we've pretty much aerated it. So what I'll do here is I'll stop the video and I will put on the next next tray. And that next tray is going to be the tray that we feed uh, probably, again, for the next 90 days. This tray, tray three, was 95 days that it got worked and fed. And now it's just going to go into a um, kind of a bottom mode, let them finish feeding and eating everything feeding on and eating everything in here. And I will only feed the upper le level after this. So I think this will about do it. I'm just trying to level it off because we're gonna put the, the next bin right on top of it. But all right, let's go ahead and switch to the next bin. All right, so now here we are with the next tray. This is tray number four and I'm just gonna put it right on top of the previous one and we'll just do like we normally do we'll make a divot here and we will put in the food now all I did here was I took shredded cardboard and I soaked it in water squeezed it out so it wasn't too wet and again one of the things I like about the vermi hut is it drains so even if I had too much water, it's gravity will drain the, the water back. But you can tell just based on sticking to my glove that it's pretty wet. So we'll just do their normal food. Lots of shredded bananas and raspberries that went bad. Oop, there's a little banana peel right there. Most of the time I try and chop this stuff up, but don't always have the time. Probably good to have some really small stuff and some bigger stuff so it gives them kind of like a time-lapse food situation where they can get to the smaller stuff sooner and then go from there. But now the idea here is that they should be able to sense the food up here and they will come from that layer below and they'll come up here and eat this food and that's the way it's been for all the other feedings and all the other trays so that's what we'll expect here this is probably pretty good for them they went 12 days without like i said without being fed last time so they're probably pretty hungry so yeah so i think that will do it for the feeding let me just finish with my normal coffee and grit and we will call it a call it a new tray
Tray number four, feeding one. Here's the grid. And with that, we have launched a new tray. Pretty excited. I'm just gonna cover it up here and, and we'll be good. Tray underneath it, 90, 95 days. Probably another 60 before we um, take the castings out of it. We'll see. I'll keep checking to see how, how much everything underneath looks like it went to castings. And again, like I said, this took a little bit longer or not longer, but um, I didn't let it go to total castings before I put this new tray on. So we'll see how long it takes, but that is it. That is the start of tray number four. All right, hope everybody's vermicomposting bins are going well. Take care, everybody.